we're able to push through it and, and where it feels uh, where it feels like right now compared to earlier in the preseason when it, when it first started to act up. Uh, it feels good. Um, just got hit, hit in my back and it kind of just irritated again, but I'll be fine. Is it something that you feel like it impacts mobility, uh, maybe defensive uh, wise or on the glass or in any spot in particular? No, I just got to keep it loose. Um, I'm going to get irritated, but uh, you know, when I'm on the floor, I just try to focus on playing and not worry about it. What do you think that the overall the team has to turn the corner? And of course, LeBron mentioned the shot making, which has been obvious. Uh, but as you guys get out of this uh, this four game losing streak, what do you think the the key is going to be? Uh, I think just getting our first win. You know, uh, it's not really about any other team right now. You know, scouts or you know schemes and all that. Just us going out there and doing it for 48 minutes to get a win. Whatever we got to do. So um, I think that's the first step. And then after that, you know, we just build on it. You guys, I mean, throughout the start, even though you guys had some shooting struggles, you talked about controlling what you can control, um, showing effort, especially on the defensive end. When that kind of lags a little bit tonight, is that is that frustrating to see? Does is, is it just feel like we didn't control our area where we've been working? Uh, for sure. I mean, we gave up a lot of point of transition. Um, you know, we were much better in, on the defensive end uh, than we showed tonight. And, uh, you know, coming out in that third quarter, you know, we fight back, you know, to tie the half. And then, you know, obviously the shot making in that third quarter, but then, you know, we wasn't <clears throat> doing what we supposed to do defensively. And um, the game got separated from right there and there. Some of LeBron's turnovers seemed to come when he was trying to play two-man game, two game with you and maybe even forced it to some extent because obviously you guys know what you can do with one another. Are, are times when you guys, you're out there with this whole new group, um, you feel like you know that's the only player you really have a sense of familiarity with like in terms of really knowing this game inside and out? And, and how do you guys implement the other pieces to, to get that same level of familiarity? Uh, about communicating. Um, you know, me and Pat talked about you know what he likes to do on pick and rolls. Me and Kay talked about what he likes to do on pick and rolls. Um, you know, I know what Brian likes to do, and uh, he even told me today that he tonight when he tried to force it, I think like three times, and you know, kick ball or you know, turnover. Um, you know, he said he just got to be more aggressive. Um, but I mean, yeah, me and him have a connection. We've been doing this for four years of you know two man game with me and him. So uh, you know, obviously, I, I know his game more than you know, anybody else on the team. Did, 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 when you when you view where this team is at today, is it are you are you looking at it? This is what we need to do to get better tomorrow, or are you still seeing things very big picture? Um, both. Um, you know, you always want to look big picture, um, but then you gotta you know be a realist and live in the moment. Um, figure out what we got to do to get better uh, tomorrow for Friday. So, um, I mean, it sucks. I mean, when you're in it right now, but you know, we know we're not gonna be in this for too long. And uh, like I said, I think we, once you get that first win under your belt, kind of just get that monkey off your back, and and then you know who knows. You know, uh, you know we continue to just continue to play defense how we're playing and turn it around. But uh, you know. I'm in a moment also at the same time. You know, you got to look big picture as well. Um, you know, going back for a second to you know, talking about forcing some shots or, or forcing some possessions, do you think the way the team is shooting right now um, might make guys feel like, hey, I got to I gotta take this on myself or I got to, you know, type no, of thing? You still got to make the right play. Um, no matter what guys are shooting from the field, you got to make the right play. Um, and guys got to have you know enough confidence to shoot the ball. So you know you don't want to you know get into that game you know where it's you feel like it's all on one player. You know you got to still play the game the right way. And if someone's open, passing the ball, and then you know they have to do their job. I'm sure you'll get to the film after today on Minnesota. But just any initial thoughts on a pretty unique lineup now with trying to integrate Towns and Gobert together. And of course, they didn't play in the preseason game. Uh, you guys are to either either one. So any initial thoughts on that and how that impacts the spot that you're playing? I mean, it doesn't even matter at this point. Like I said, at this point, it's all about Lakers and what we got to do. Um, 
No, I don't care about any other team. Uh, we got to figure ourselves out first before we can focus on any other team. And I think that's what uh, our focus is going to be. You know, how can we get better and then apply to the court and <clears throat> let the rest take care of itself. But, I mean, they do have a unique team with, you know, Towns and, and, and Gobert. Um, I mean, I don't know the matchups with their, on their side or on our side, but uh, no matter what, I'll be ready to go. And um, like I said, we just got to focus on us. It did seem like you had the, enough of a defensive rhythm the first three games as a team uh, while the shots weren't falling. Do you think you could get back to that and then add some of the offense? Like, do, you, do you see that puzzle piece pieces going together? Absolutely. Um, you know, I definitely think that you know, we're going to get back to the way we defend. Um, and then our offense is going to come around. Guys keep shooting quality shots um, and not shooting bad shots. Then um, you, know, you continue to play the game right away. And, and it, Things change for you, but when you start shooting bad shots or um, guys start doing things on their own, you know you kind of stay in the slump. So, you know the basketball guys, you know are with us, and we just got to continue to keep playing the right way.